Fatherland by Robert Harris. And here's the cover. The actual <laughs> book. <laughs> and that is the title of my presentation. It's German for the new um, empire. I don't know if it's right, I just use Google Translate, so I could be grammatically <laughs> incorrect. Um, all right. Okay, so um, a quick like background on the setting of the novel. This is where Hitler won World War II. So this is what the like German Empire looks like um, right now in the story. And um, they need to form an alliance with the USA to end the Cold War. So, because like they're fighting with Russia. Um, and they're trying to hide the evidence of the Holocaust because if the Holocaust stuff gets out, then the U.S. won't really be cool with that, and they won't want to have the alliance. And none of the Germans really question it. Um, the main character finds like a picture of the German family, and he asked about it before, but no one like wants to talk about it. They just ignore the subject completely. All right. So those are the characters. Uh, that one is the main character, and that's the Havel River. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, and he is a detective for the, I can't say it, creepo, uh, the police force in, that they have there. And he finds a body there because Jost, one of, some guy calls, and it's, it turns out to be Joseph Bueller. Yeah. Joseph Bueller, and these three are actual historical people. And, um, He's investigating the murder of this guy, and Charlie McGuire was a, is an American reporter who is working with him. She got contacted by um, Willem Stucker, or and he's like trying to get in touch with her. And then, um, sorry, <coughs> Billy is Xavier's son. And, okay, so the bad guys are basically Bose and Neve, and they're two also historical, um, like, top official people. And they're trying to cover up the murders of these three, and they're killing them off because they know about the Holocaust. They helped plan it. They were at the Wansi conference, and that's basically where the Holocaust plans all came up. So they're trying to like completely wipe out all of it of the Holocaust so that the US um, alliance can go through. And uh, so March and Charlie are trying to work together to investigate this. And they go to Zurich to look up at a safety deposit box from um, Stucker or Luther, one of these two. Um, to see what's in it, to see if there's anything incriminating like the people that are murdering them because they don't know who it is yet. Um, sorry, I forgot to mention earlier in Bueller's house, they found like a safe room with a bunch of paintings. So apparently these three have been smuggling art. And when they get to um, the safety deposit box, um, they only see like another painting. So they go back to Berlin and they're trying to figure out like, okay, gotta find something that incriminates them. And then March finds like documents, or no, sorry, that's not yet. Um, then Luther tries to run away to the USA, but he gets shot in a meeting with Charlie because he's trying to get her to take him to the USA. And um, Ma Xavier tell, like, goes to the airport to try to find Luther's briefcase to see if there's anything there. And he finds some documents incriminating everybody with the Holocaust. And so they're gonna get those to the like they're gonna expose them, and they get to they're going to Switzerland. Them being Charlie and um, Xavier, and then um, they have to split up because Neve and Globus are like trying to find them. So instead, she gets away with the documents, and he goes to Auschwitz, and. Um, so he's in Auschwitz and they like, it ends with just a standoff. He pulls out the gun and he's like, yes, it really did happen. Here is proof, even though the government says it didn't. And um, you don't really know what happens. Like, it's up to the reader to find out. 
And I was, one of the main themes that I wanted to discuss that I really have time to was deception. So the government deceiving everyone there with like the Holocaust isn't happening. <coughs> and um, did I mention Pili, the son, informs on his father to the Gestapo. That's why they were following them. I think I forgot to mention that. It's kind of important. Um, so here's like Hitler with the little kids. He's turning families against each other. And the media was completely like moderated. There was no freedom of speech, so they couldn't get anything out. And I wouldn't put it in the syllabus. Um, I put it around with like 1984, Child 44, and Clockwork Orange because it has the dystopian feel. And ta-da, that's it. And that's just for hot